I like manual focus, but I also can't see. Mm. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. But I can't make it seem like I want you. It has been a minute. Where have I been? Busy. Y'all know this. Anywho, I had orientation for nursing school today and it was so much fun. Um, excited? Yes. Nervous? Yes. School starts in like a week and some change. I'm so ready for April because that's when school starts. I just want to show you how cute, like, hold on, let me cover my school up. Look at how cute my badge is. Wait, wait for it to focus. Look, it's so cute. It's like one of the first badges that I absolutely don't hate, which is rare because normally I hate every badge. And then because uh, my Nani is cooler than, I don't know if you have a Nani, my Nani is my, my grandma, but we call her Nani. She's cool as heck. And her and my poppy got me these. <laughs> they got me these adorable badge reels. And she was like, I saw them and they looked like you. And I was like, so, my student badge. Thank you, Nani. You are the best. Okay. Sorry to just, you know, gush for a minute there. So, um, orientation today. We went over what the semester's gonna be like, which cohort you're in. We met some nurses that graduated. We met all of our faculty. Um, I was just so excited to, like, share. So I got on here and now I'm basically just going to show you my new desk layout because I did uh, I did everything I could to get ready for nursing school. I am one of those people who's like, um, need all the markers, all the pins, all the things. A lot of my family gifted me a decent amount of this stuff. So, cause we're entering our broke college girl era again. All I got time for is school a little bit of CNA work and pay my bills. That's it. So I'm going to show you my desk. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I was gifted that I am very excited about. Um, including like my stethoscopes and accessories and why I have so many markers and the desk set up. So instead of me chit chatting about it, uh, let's get into it. So this is my desk. We got a new computer finally, which we're very excited about. The pink aesthetic is a vibe, a whole vibe. Um, I do not have an unboxing video. I'm sorry guys, I just set it up. This is my beautiful desktop wallpaper. I did customize this myself. Uh, my boyfriend had me laughing because he was like, why you put all these gorgeous men on there and not me? I was like, my bad. So I'm gonna have to make him updated one where I put him in it because he was mad that, you know, he wasn't in it. But I told him it was just a bunch of anime and stuff. And Michael B. Jordan because he gorgeous. Okay, moving on. We got my little, my little aspiration little shelf right here. Uh, I mentioned my Nani earlier. These are both from my Nani and Poppy. Uh, I got this bear a really long time ago, like when I was little. And it's just been my motivation to get to where I'm finally going. Got my little Hello Kitty poster. Also another shout out to my Nani and Poppy. I have my cute little stethoscope that has my name on it. It is engraved. It's gorgeous. Can you read upside down? Then we have the massive sticky note pen marker wall thing. I don't know what to call this. All I can tell you guys is that I am a note taker. I'm a, I need to draw things out. So I set this up so that I had all the markers, all the highlighters, all the pens, markers that my little heart could dream of because well, 
why not have it pretty? So this is my, this is my desk setup for April. I'm very excited. Okay, so getting into some of the more like nuanced things. Um, I was gifted one of the cutest stethoscopes from my Nani Poppy. Um, it's adorable because it has the little sleeve, little scrunchy sleeve. Uh, it is the thicker, has the ear loops. Um, love it. Uh, thanks to some more family. We got the stethoscope case. It's not full yet. I do have my other stethoscope. It's the Litman 3. It's brown. Like, it's, it's brown. It's cute. It's very cute. So I'm probably going to take both of those because whichever one works best at the moment is the one I'm going to use. Um, I don't start clinicals until semester two, but semester one's only 11 weeks long for me. So as soon as that's done, I have my clinicals. So I was gifted my clinical bag. I put an Amazon wish list up and that's how I got most of the stuff gifted to me. So if you want it to, I will definitely link the Amazon in my uh, description box below. Uh, I'm thinking about doing the QR codes going forward because I think the QR codes are cool. But I didn't do one for this video. So next video, look out for the QR codes. This is also an Amazon. It's like a travel bag, but like it had the compartments and the charging that I really liked. And it's just such a cute color. And it has pockets galore. And I know that most of the girlies told me, make sure that your clinical bag has space, compartments, and can be organized. Next up is the backpack. I'm going with the classic. I'm a pink girl. If you have not figured that out yet, I love the color pink. Um, hence the computer probably told it and give it away. So we've got the North Face, uh, the Jester. I think it's called a Jester. It's got pockets galore. Um, I travel with as many pens and markers as you see on this desk in case I have to study somewhere else. Um, I get the pens here I can show you I get the pens that have like multi clicks um, I'm obsessed with Muji's uh, I might have mentioned before on this channel I'm not sure I have ADHD so um, when it comes to pens and having the tools that you need I'm I'm very critical on getting things that I enjoy I like and that stimulate me enough so that I stay focused um, if you're a fellow ADHD sufferer, you understand that you need to have the right tools. They can't be uncomfortable, they it can't be boring, and it has to be stimulating. So, yes, I got all the pens. I can show you guys. This is like my to-go pencil case. Yes, it is a pencil. I got this from Target. Um, I don't know how long ago. If I can find the link for it, I'll get it to you guys, but I've had this for a really long time. But I am a, I am a Muji pen girl. I love Muji pens. You can get them on Amazon. Um, you, if you live on the East Coast, you can go to the Muji store. I don't live on the East Coast, so I have to order my Muji pens. But anytime I am in New York, I always stop by because they have the coolest pens. Like the double, it's double. It has two colors and there's so many like other ones. That way you get one utensil, two colors. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I have color-coded notes most of the time. Um, so I need to literally have access to multiple pens. As you can see, there are multiple pens in there. Variety of different colors, shapes and sizes. Uh, I normally prefer to write in 0.5 or less when it comes to my pens. I like the fine line writing. I'm not a fan of like 7. Um, I don't mind my mechanical pencils having 0 or 7, but... Yes, I am avid on 0.5 is my favorite lead and pen ink size. Speaking of, I had to show you these cute pencils. I got these from Amazon. Um, they are gorgeous. They're just aesthetically pleasing. And I love things when they're aesthetically pleasing. I will keep updating you guys on like what I get for nursing school and how my notes are going and what's going on but I don't start till April so this is the only update that I could give you guys right now um 
If you're wondering exactly which stethoscope I have, um, it is this one, the Lippmann Classic 3. That's the brown one. I can't tell you the other one because it was a gift and um, I don't, it was, it's a hand-me-down gift from my puppy. He's an awesome phlebotomist and EKG specialist, so I don't know. He just gave me one of his really cool stethoscopes and the covers. Um, and I'm going to have to ask my grandparents where they got all these covers from because look at how many more I have. Like, I'm probably going to put the cute cheetah one on my brown stethoscope because I think it's going to be adorable. Uh, but literally, they it's just a cute little sleeve you put in and it just personalizes it. I am a CNA, so you know I have all the bad drills and the buttons and I'm that CNA. I got the matching scrubs and the matching Stanley cup and the Starbucks cup and it matches my matching Crocs. Yes, I am that CNA. So what do you think is going to happen? I'm going to be that nurse. Okay, like I'll show you guys my, my Croc clogs, which by the way, if you are a CNA or a nurse, if you don't have a pair of these, they are so comfortable. Like, if you don't have the platform Crocs, go get a pair. They are one, gorgeous, two, customizable, and three, my feet don't hurt. Also, if you like Uggs, they have Ugg clogs, which I'm gonna go show you both of those because um, as a CNA who is an aspiring nurse, foot comfort is very important. And I don't play when it comes to my feet because I work 12 hour overnight shifts sometimes and I, mm -mm. I work 12 hour day shifts, I work eight hour mid shifts, I, I work a lot of different shifts. You don't want your feet to hurt when you have to run around and do things and Nikes don't cut it for me all the time. I need support. So I'm gonna show you both my two new favorite shoes. Okay, so we're gonna start with my platform Crocs and if you guessed, yes, they have buttons. What kind of video would this be if I didn't have a bunch of cute little random buttons in my Crocs? Y'all have seen my desktops and my markers and my aesthetic. I'm extra and I love it. These are the Crocs. I got them for Christmas. My parents bought them. <sighs> Thank you, parents. They watch my YouTube channel and I just want to tell them y'all are the best thank you for all the support okay sorry for the uh mildly emotional uh announcement right there my my parents are just awesome guys they really supported me through this journey and i can't thank them enough thank you for these because my feet my feet are very happy um they're platformed they're adorable they come in a bunch of different colors i uh want the pink ones of course uh next is the uggies I bought these on my own. I saw them, I was at, I was at Nordstrom's, which is like one of my favorite places in the whole world. I tried these on in white. And it's weird because normally my Ugg boots are always a six. These I got in a seven, because I tried the six on and it was too tight. And I don't know if it's because they have a sock in them or what, but honestly the clog was just get, size up. So I got these in a seven. I ordered them online at the Ugg store. They were so cute. They have it, the sock comes out, it's fuzzy. Don't wear the sock with the sock, your feet will die of sweat. Um, this is a sock, it comes out, you can wash it. But it's padded in here, like, oh. I wore these to work the other day. One, I got a bunch of compliments. Two, my feet were not hurting. I remember when I first started as a CMA, I wore just a, a regular pair of tennis shoes. I think they were just like a pair of Adidas. My dogs were barking. They were barking. I do have a pair of dance goes. Um, I don't wear my dance goes that much. They, they're they okay for like eight hour shifts, but if I'm on my feet longer than that, my dance goes actually kind of hurt. They kind of hurt. And I broke them in like I was supposed to, but I just can't, I don't know. If anybody has any recommendations on how to like make dance goes more comfortable, please let me know because I plan on wearing them. I do still wear them, but I found other shoes that I find more comfortable, like Hoka's. Every every Stanley Cup Toten CNA nurse knows Hoka's are where it's at. But these are probably my favorite clog variety of shoes that I have right now um, because they're comfortable and they're cute. And 
if you know me, there's two things I love, cute and comfortable. Well guys, that wraps up my pre week of nursing school. Um, my orientation vlog. Like I said, leave down in the comments if you have an idea on how to make dance clothes more comfortable. Um, leave down in the comments if you want to like, tell me what you wanna see on this channel. Or if you just have any like nursing school advice because I'm new to nursing school. I've done normal school. I have a bachelor's in integrative healthcare and a minor in pre-med. But nursing school is completely different from everything everyone told me. So leave me some comments down if you are in nursing school, if you're about to go into nursing school, if you're about to graduate. Tell me what's going on. 12 seconds later. So yes, until next time, whether it be a nurse vlog, nursing school vlog, a book vlog, a lifestyle vlog, because around here we do everything Deja. Bye guys. Whoa.